Hi, this is Shamin here. Welcome to my biology class. So this is uh, some question answer here. Uh, just quickly, I will explain some question answer. This is a uh, chapter one biology for English version. That is the lessons on life. Chapter one lessons on life. What is the significance of learning biology? That means what is the importance of a learning biology what do you think well biology is one of the one of the fundamental branches of science as biology plays an important role in agriculture medicine from the beginning of civilization it was practiced in different region that is the greece egypt Middle East, India, and China. So learning biology helps us to create awareness about environmental pollution and conservation of natural environment. So that is really important for our, um, our normal life. That means the characteristics of living things and are, that is the discussed in physics and chemistry but biology is the branch of scientific knowledge concerning life and characteristics of organism let's go next one number two question write down the names of the physical branch of biology biology physical branches physical branches of biology So physical branches of biology, number one, that is morphology. So morphology, that is, the, that is divided into two branches, that is external and internal morphology. So that is mainly is uh, uh, about all about the external morphology and internal, that is the descri description of the body, that is called internal morpho morphology and external that is describe description of the body that is the external external description of the body that is external morphology and that is the internal that is inside the body that is internal morphology and next one that is a taxonomy so taxonomy that is the basically classification of organisms and related principle number c that is a physiology so physiology that is the branch of biology uh, that is mainly biochemical activities of different organisms of organs for example like a respiration excretion photosynthesis um, yeah next one that is histology so histology that is microscopic structure arrangement and function of plants and animals tissues are uh, studied in this uh, in this branch embryology so embryology that is uh, discuss the origin of gametes that is the uh, origin of embryo of fertilized egg the development of embryo and next one that is cytology cytology that is the mainly about a cell in a body of organism genetics so genetics that that is the specially gene genes and heredity this branch and evolution so evolution mainly here is a development of life that means that is the over time how people develop how the organism develop ecology ecology mainly that is the relationship between organisms and the environment endocrinology how about endocrinology what do you think that is the endocrine gland and hormones uh, hormones that is the secreted um, secreted by by them by the organism that is the reason biogeography biogeography that is uh, the geographical distribution of organisms 
and their in, uh, uh, evolution that is the bio geography that is the geographical distribution in this branch next one number three question write down the name of applied branches of biology so in the name of applied branches of biology are, that is number one paleontology so paleontology that is the prehistoric life forms and fossil that is paleontology number b biostatistics biostatistics that is the statistics of organisms this science that is the statistics of organism parasitology parasitology parasitism that is uh, and life process and parasitic uh, organisms that that is the related to that is the this is the science related to parasitism and disease also next one that is fisheries so this is uh, see the name is very easy to remember fisheries means fish harvesting of fish and management and conservation of fish acid and entomology entomology that is the related to science like that is the merit and demerit and control of insect so entomology mainly this is all about insect next one that is microbiology micro that is the small microscopic organism for example such as virus bacteria fungi and other microorganism agriculture so definitely here is a concerning agriculture medical science this is also very that is human body that is the disease all about and treatment genetics engineering so genetic engineering that is the associated with the gene technology and is how is used biochemistry biochemistry that is the chemistry here so these uh, branches that is the biochemical process and disease of organism environmental science so this is all about environment related marine biology marine that is the uh, uh, all about marine living organism for example sea or ocean all right what kind of organism fish or animals live there foresty forest that is the easy way to remember forest management and conservation of its resource biotechnology so biotechnology that is the science associated with the technology uses of organism that is and next one pharmacy so pharmacy that is uh, the technology and industry of medicine wild life so here's a all about wild animals or it will be wild plants also bioinformative bioinformatics that is computer technology information that is the bio biological information based on computer technology so this is all about applied branches of biology so this is applied subject related to life are included that and this is the category uh, of them all right let's go next one what is binomial nomenclature what is binomial nomenclature what do you think so normally the same organism for plants and animals is known as different names in different countries even in different parts of the same country so to solve this problem swedish a scientist that is what's the name of scientist Carolus Linnaeus, Carolus Linnaeus. This is the person. Carolus Linnaeus introduced a system of nomenclature so that science, scientists all over the world can know the organism by a single name. According to this system, scientific name of an organism consists of two words. Two words. 
the first word how about first word here is the first and second word so first word is that is the genetic name and um, which begin with capital letter and second word in the species name which begin with a small letter this system is known as binomial nomenclature all right so for example i will give you example it can be easy to understand for example here that is the human humans that is homo sapiens that is the scientific name homo sapiens and first letter each this one will be start with capital letter and this uh, letter start with small letter homo sapiens all right so let's go next question that is what are the ranks of classification what's the ranks of classification so steps or you can say ranks of classification that is number one phylum class order family genus and species so you write like this you step by step is like a step writing like this so this is a phylum or you can say division and next one that is class order family genus and species that is the uh, that is the steps of classification or you can say that is the ranks of classification so and if we start with a uh, phylum and division so phylum and division that is the uh, for like uh, any any division is start and class that is uh, the young on blood uh, on milk their body is covered with that is for example mammal mammal is a class and phylum that is caudata that means it has uh, it, it has not occurred in any phase of life and order order that is another and family genus and species let's go next one So here is a number six question. What are the units of classification? That is the same answer, guys. All I already given. That is um, units uh, seven units. That is kingdom or division, class, order, family, genus, and species. That is a species like a genus, you know, Homo, and species that is Homo, so homo sapiens, and family. Uh, that is hominid prime primate mammalian mammalia sorry class is a mammalia and kingdom or division that is uh, kingdom that is animalia that is the unit let's go next one that is why is genetic part of the physical branches of biology genetics part of the physical branch of biology so we know that uh, genetics genetics is the branch of biology deals with genes and heredity as physical bi biology that is deals with theoretical concept so genetic is under the under the branch of a uh, physical biology so yeah next one that is number c how will you maintain continuity in naming the plant in figure uh, two so what is my figure two so this is a figure two so how will you maintain the continuity in naming the plant in figure two so this is a figure you see that this is a plant green plant so what's the explanation how you write the answer so maintain continuity in naming the plant figure to the rules that need to be followed. So number one, that is Latin words must be used in naming the plant scientifically. The name must contain two parts. First part would be genus and the second part would be species. So the uh, very first letter wor word of the scientific name would be capital letter. The rest of the letter would be in a small letter. 
that is already I given the information last uh, question answer also same like this and during printing and scientific name should be printed in Latin front and while writing I would underline the genus and species a term separately I will add the name of the scientist who discovered the organism in the first place in the short term to the end of the scientific name of that organism for example the short form of lineas that is ill so for example if you think this is um, uh, rice or pedi so it will be origa sativa it will be a scientific name so i will write the origa sativa so it will be i'm writing here i'm writing here o r it will be capital letter okay origa then next one that is a small letter S will be small letter sativa and whenever I finish writing you must underline all right this is origin sativa let's go next one next question number D analyze the reason which organism is more advanced between the two shown figure one and figure two so we already already seen that that is the figure one so figure one this one and figure two so this is a mushroom guys so what's the difference between what is uh, uh, which organism is more advanced between the two shown below so figure one is mushroom and figure two that is dicotyledon plant and of these two organisms dicotyledon plant is much more developed yes definitely the reason behind what's the reason behind number one mushroom does not produce any flower yes and but the dicotyledon plant is a flowering plant so flowering plant are always considered a superior organism and mushroom cannot produce uh, its own food but the plant can produce its own food via photosynthesis that is the figure two and number two that is mushroom does asexual reproduction so the dicotypledon that is create offspring via sexual reproduction that is the difference so mushrooms body cannot be divided into root stem leaves but dicot uh, by dicot plant dicotyledon that is the plant root stem and leaves it has and vascular bundle tissue system is a unique characteristics of superior plant which is absent in mushroom but present in dicotyledon so mushroom another another uh, ad, another separate that is the characteristics it has um, tertiary is a saprophytic that means it's parasitic they didn't make food they are not green color but this is a green color plant it has uh, it has it has ability to making a food by photosynthesis and it has um, nucleus is well organized a cell wall is uh, composed in kinetin this mode of nutrition is absorption the photosynthetic apparatus that is a chloroplast here is a chloroplast absent and here is a chloroplast present so this is definitely figure two is a advance this is an advance uh, organism yeah So next question, who is the father of biology? Who is the father of biology? Do you know the name of the person? Any idea? Aristotle, yes. Next question. What is the elaboration of ICBN? ICBN. The elaboration of ICBN is International Code of botanical nomenclature 
International Code of Botanical Nomenclature that is ICBN that is if you elaborate if you ex ex uh, explain more so it will be International Code of Biological Biological no Botanical Nomenclature yes and another uh, one I want to share that is ICJN so how you how you will elaborate ICJT and this is the same thing guys that is international code of geological nomenclature you just change here geological that is JAT nomenclature so this is the difference between ICBN and ICJT and you must remember that this is all the small question answer who founded the main field of classification of classification of organism who who is the person do you know the name of person carolus linnaeus this is the person names carolus linnaeus this is the person so guys i hope that's all for today thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video and keep practicing go to my website there is a lots of practice you can download and practice it that's all for today and good luck your biology day thank you so much